Hello travelers and welcome to the Hard Green Book, the channel that takes you from coast to coast and con to con. I am your travel guide Brendan and today we are here in Telluride, Colorado. Here for the Telluride Horror Film Show, which is a horror genre film festival that takes place every year. I've been wanting to check it out for a while now and this year happened to be the year that it all just lined up perfectly. So travelers, we're gonna check out um, some of the movies that are showing, uh, see a little bit of the town, and just have a great time exploring this cool little mountain town. So come along with me, let's go have some fun. Okay, I'm currently in line to ride the gondolier down to Telluride. It's a little bit easier to come up to the mountain village and park and ride the way down. Okay guys, we're going down the mountain. Oh, look at these amazing views. Like, oh. I miss living here. Absolutely amazing. Check out the town guys, that looks so amazing. Uh, very, very beautiful view. Travelers, I cannot express how beautiful it is out here in Telluride. I just got off the gondola and we're making uh, my way out here to the first theater to try to get tickets for the first movie that I wanna see, but guys, wow. This is extremely majestic. And of course they're getting in the spooky mood here in Telluride, guys. I've already seen some people dressed in cosplay, wearing their shirts for the event. Ah, it's gonna be a fun time. Okay guys, as you can see from the banner, the horror show is in town. And you guys won't believe it, I literally just passed by Linnea Quigley. Ah, uh, just standing in the road, having a conversation. Ah, uh, this is so awesome. Okay guys, we are now here outside of the Nugget Theater, which was established in 1934. They are showing films here. The film that I am trying to see here is The Sacrifice Game. Um, I then purchased passes um, for multiple shows. We're just gonna do the, you know, buy a pass if you just so happen to have one. So we're gonna see if they let us in and if they have any seats. Okay guys, just showing you what the inside looks like. We're about to get our seats to enjoy this fantastic movie. And guys, this is going to be a fun, fun time. Uh, I can't wait to check this one out. I will give you a review of what I thought of this particular one on the other end of this side. I'm loving the animations that are showing before the film starts. Very cool. Hey, there we are. There we are. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. It's Sunday, so it's Satan's Day here at uh, all that. Welcome to the only film festival where um, you can get the blood of Christian babies as a topping at the Ice Cream Social. Yes. You mentioned in your last Q&A, you did the Ranger, which you ever, if anybody hasn't seen, very different movie, but a really great movie as well, on Shudder. Is it on Shudder? Yep, it's on Shudder. Right? I mean, that was your first full-length movie. And I was like, uh, we were talking about something, and you said, yeah, like, well, at first, when we were writing The Ranger, then I had to, like, learn how to make movies. Yeah. So explain how you learned how to make movies. Where um, did this come from? So, so I wrote the first draft of the script in 2013, um, but I didn't know how to make movies yet. Uh, so I put it to the side, and then I started working for this production company, Glass Eye Picks, uh, mm -hmm. and they make lots of indie horror movies. And they uh, taught me how to produce, and I produced six features with them. And they, you know, they they've been around since 1985. So I had these guys, Larry Fessenden and Peter Polk, um, who were like my mentors, and who, if I would be the lead producer on these movies, but if I ran into trouble, they were there to have my back and help me through it. So that's how I learned by producing uh, for other filmmakers. And then in 20. 17, uh, The Ranger, uh, we got the finances together for that, and The Ranger is about a bunch of punk kids who go to the woods and come up against a killer park ranger. Um, and uh, so that was easy, well, easy, 
that was easier because it was just like kids in the woods and you express punk in the 80s through costumes, but besides that it was just a shooting in the woods. Um, this was a bigger thing to put together because we needed a boarding school, we needed snow, we needed, you know, it's an ensemble cast. Levitation. Levitation. <laughs> uh, so that took a couple more years before uh, we were ready to, to bring that together. Okay guys, we have another one of the venues that is showing films. This is the Sheridan Opera House. Very awesome and you see the people lining up to watch this particular film that is scheduled to be showing soon. Uh, I will be heading out to actually check out a little bit of the horror trivia that they will have at the Elks Lodge for a bit and then possibly go on to the next film that I'm hoping to see travelers but it's been so fun to hang out here in this beautiful mountain town. Of course while you're walking around and catching up some horror of course you build up an appetite and of course uh, I had to stop by this food cart that offers cheesesteaks and amazing grilled cheeses. Can't wait to try mine. Guys, I have worked out quite an appetite, so, hey. But you know, we gotta have those moments where we perk up with some good food. Okay, travelers, as I am making my way down to the next theater for the next showing, Man, I will tell you a little bit about The Sacrifice Game. That was such a fun movie to watch, Travelers. Man, um, it looks like it will be a Shutter exclusive um, because the director's um, previous film, The Ranger, was also, well, is currently still on Shutter. And man, she really did her thing with this next film. Um, it is set during Christmas at a girl's boarding school. And let's just say havoc ensues. Um, you think the movie's gonna lean one way and it totally turns your expectations on his head. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, Coincidentally, I was saying that um, with it being a Shutter exclusive, I definitely could see it being shown on um, the last drive-in with Joe Bob Briggs uh, for one of the holiday showings. So um, that will probably be one of my guesses um, for um, this upcoming holiday season on that show. So we'll see if I'm right with that, Travelers. But again, um, if you are into holiday themed horror, I think that one will be welcomed into the Pantheon. But um, guys, definitely check out the Sacrifice Game um, whenever it hits Shudder. Uh, the cast did a great job. The director did a fantastic job. The, cin the cinematography was on point. Uh, couldn't recommend it higher. So be on the lookout. Travelers, I'm trying to make it to the next destination, but I just can't help but stop and just, uh, in such amazement at how beautiful it is here. Uh, well, enough of that. Back to the de next destination. Halloween decorations here in Telluride. Love that. Guys, these houses are so cool. Okay, guys, have reached the second one, the Michael D. Palm Theater, which is in this particular school. It's pointing that way. All right, guys, let's go in. Hopefully they still have some seats left. Guys, look at how the lobby is set for this one. Very, very cool, guys. All right, the movie has just started, but we are gonna go in and check it out. Guys, the artwork for the show is very, very awesome. Oh, gotta love that attention to detail, travelers. You guys, tell them that. Yeah! This is, awesome. um, this is a fantastic, a fantastic little film. And really slick, really wonderful, really punchy, really fun. Can you just talk to us about like, how it came together? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, so uh, I uh, met uh, Michael Kennedy uh, and uh, some of the other producers um, kind of after uh, my uh, previous or two films back from the Trash Girl, which was a very like, kind of a slasher that sort of had a lot of energy to it. And, um, and, uh, and Michael had made, uh, our world was writer of Freaky, and, and I have like, you know, some sort of similar sensibilities, and a, a similar take, you know, like Cable Saw Death. So um, there's a lot of people kind of uh, you know pointing out that maybe we should you know uh, connect and see see kind of uh, you know, 
on together, and so we met and kind of dug each other. And, and then like the pandemic kind of hit, and there was some like kind of, you know people didn't know what the hell was going on in the industry, and um, and uh, and then simultaneously like uh, Seth Kaplan uh, and um, uh, the guys that divide and conquer, Adam and Greg. Uh, who uh, you know were doing like Black Christmas and like Megan and like those sorts of films. Um, they were uh, you know and I had been kind of looking for something to do with them and then they uh, kind of reached out to me being like, hey, you know, there's the script. Uh, it's a wonderful knife. Um, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I know what that is. You know, like you know, it's like it's, it's pretty clear. And then um, and they said kind of the premise of it, which is like obviously like a slasher twist on that you know kind of classic narrative. And what I always loved about that movie is that it's kind of like a Christmas Carol. Like it's kind of like a riff on that sort of you know um, kind of mythology a little bit, and and so I thought it would be kind of fun to you know, do that with a horror twist, and it would be kind of like I could use some of the same um, uh, you know like tool set, but, but it wouldn't be like a complete you know sort of rehash of, of things that I've done before. But um, what I really liked about the script and what kind of sold me on it was the idea that um, in a lot of the stuff that I write myself, and this is sort of the um, first kind of you know main feature that I've done that, that I didn't write. And, um, but what I liked about it was that it really kind of means it. Like it has a very good, you know, kind of heart of gold at the center of it that um, is really quite sincere in a way of a lot of the stuff that I, I write isn't. So that was kind of what attracted me to it. Okay guys, that was the second film that I saw for today. It's A Wonderful Night, which is a fun twist on It's A Wonderful Life. Um, guys, it had uh, familiar faces like Joel McHale and of course Jordan Long, who has been a bit of a horror sweetheart for the last few years, even going back decades to Jeepers Creepers. Um, so it was fun to see him in a role in this film. Um, guys, if you're into holiday horror or if you're in, really into like the hallmark um, holiday movies that come around that time, you will really enjoy this flick. It really hits like all of those marks for sure. So guys, I, that's another recommend and I believe if I saw the credits correct as well, that is another movie that will be on Shutter, hopefully sometime pretty soon. Um, I would imagine along the holiday season that will be upcoming. So, Travers, um, it was fun checking out the movies here. Um, I'm probably going to try to do a little bit more of um, some exploring here in Telluride. So, if I see anything interesting, we will come right back to you with that. Okay, guys, here is some of the official merch for Telluride Horror Show. Of course, they had hats here. They have hoodies, shirts, you know, all types of cool things. Tumblers, prints, very nice. Here's what this year's poster looks like. Oh, absolutely awesome. Super, super cool design, guys. As you can see from the other posters that you saw from the theater. Yeah, the heavy ride. Um, that's a pretty cool magnet there, guys. <laughs> of course, the hats were also very, very cool. Loving the designs on those guys. And as I mentioned earlier, guys, Linnea Quickly is just right there kicking it, hanging out while people are in line for the film. It's very awesome, guys. Cool, cool time. You should definitely come check it out if you're ever in the area this time of year. They already have the date set for the next one, which is October uh, the 11th through the 13th, I believe, which will be a super, super fun time, guys. Like, look at this weather. I mean, the fact that you have these mountains out here, full of horror fans out here that have just been talking about their favorite films from this particular weekend. Man, you cannot... Uh, ask for a better time but be prepared guys the air is as thin as advertised and you gotta love where they're advertising Halloween stuff here I'll tell you right so guys if you're gonna be in the area or you're nearby around these times go check them out all right guys and this is the official one of the official bars for the Telluride horror show. It's been a great time, guys. Uh, people are now hanging out, watching some football, unwinding, 
Guys, I can't wait to take advantage of this next year for sure. I'm coming down for the entire weekend instead of just Sunday. Well, travelers, that will do it for me here today at the Telluride Horror Show. Oh man, it's been a great, great time. Uh, lovely, lovely town out here in the mountains. Man, great horror fans out here. It's awesome just walking around and passing by celebrities like you would here at any convention. So it's a different environment, a lot of fun. Great time for the friends and family time as well. Like great restaurants, bars, things of that nature. So plenty to do to hang out. Guys, if you're ever out here around this time of year, you should definitely come and check it out. Travelers, again. I am your travel guide, Brendan, with the Horror Green Book, letting you know that if you liked anything, you know, go ahead and give me one of those Ash Williams severed hands. Go ahead and comment on anything that you saw, and subscribe if you want to stick around longer. But remember, it's scary in those streets, so let me know that you made it home safely.